Hi everybody, here's another story lab. Today we're going to be reading Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. Oh my goodness, that rascal pigeon. Well, while we read it, you're going to need to think about what did you like best? Remember, just like the boy and the girl are thinking about their favorite parts of the book of the cat, you need to think about your favorite part with the pigeon book. I'm going to hang this up now. Okay, and we're going to think about our favorite parts. Here we go. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. It's written by Mo Williams, one of my favorite writers. Oh, good. It's you. Listen, it's getting late and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Thanks. First of all, I'm not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? Should we have a hot dog party? No? I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. It could be very educational. Should we let him watch it? How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five minutes in the grand scheme of things? Should we let him? Oh, what, what? I'm not tired. You know, we never get to talk anymore. Uh, tell me about your day. Hmm. Oh, I've got a great idea. We could count the stars. Can I have a glass of water? Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. It's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night instead. Hey, hey, ho, ho, this here pigeon just won't go. Please. The bunny wants to stay up too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? Oh, yawn. Okay, that was not a yawn. I was just stretching. I'm 100% awake. You haven't heard the oh, loss of me. Leaping. Great work. Thanks. Good night. I'm dreaming of that hot dog party. Um, wow, I don't know about you, but it makes me want to go to sleep like the pigeon. Well, boys and girls, remember, tell all your families about something you liked best in this book. And have a good day. I'll talk to you later.